And a good day to you, Explore Nation. John Linsky here with episode seven of Did You Know? Fun facts about Columbus High School, episode seven already. In this segment, we're going to explore the first few years of the 1970s, which was a decade that so many of us remember fondly, and it was quite a time in downtown Westchester. So here we go. Did you know in 1970, groundwork started on a brand new asphalt track behind the uh, the gym there, which would wreck many a shin in the years to come? Did you know in 1970, Brother Kevin became head coach of the varsity basketball team, a position he would hold for almost 20 years? Did you know in July 1970, Three icons joined the faculty. Lou Savino, who could freeze the entire cafeteria just by walking in. Tom O'Neill, who, who gave new meaning to the term walking small. And Nancy Husted, who controlled and captivated her classes better than most men could. Did you know? Tuition for the 1970-71 school year was $650. Think about that. Did you know in the fall of 1970, the football team defeated Curley 18-13 to in a game marked by a major brawl, and that marked the last time the two schools would meet on the gridiron. Did you know in February 1971, students from Columbus and Lords put on the play 110 Degrees in the Shade, which was the first musical ever produced at Columbus High School. We actually took the bus over from Epiphany to watch that production, and I was astonished by how big the campus was and how big the guys were at Columbus. Well, did we know how much more growing there would uh, be? Did you know? In April 1971, a new Beat the Heat schedule was introduced for the spring because we had no air conditioning in the classrooms. School started at 7.55 and ended at 12.25. No lunch. Everybody just went home. And that lasted for about six years or so. Did you know in May 1971, senior Tom Webb won the Silver Knight Award in Mathematics? Did you know in July 1971, Brother Hugh Andrew, Brother Hugh Andrew became the third mayor's brother principal of Columbus High School. <laughs> and did you know in 1971, Brother Eugene's dog, a St. Bernard named Brandy, arrived on campus. Brandy was allowed to wander aimlessly anywhere at any time. Brandy also learned how to drink out of the water fountain. That ain't a lie. And woe be to the guy who was behind Brandy. Just go thirsty, my friend. And that's the way it was in the early 1970s. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, if you have any fun facts of your own for Did You Know, email me at jlinsky at columbushs.com. And once again, thanks to the person who makes it all happen, Melissa Marty. So, Explore Nation, until next time. Take it easy, buenos tiempos, and adelante.